It's one of the most important questions of our modern era and has plagued the minds of some of our greatest thinkers for some time now. Just what is the difference between a geek and a nerd? Now, of course, there are some similarities between the two. For one thing, both have been shouted at me across a crowded playground at some time or another. But if you start to scratch beneath the surface, you start to realise that there are some subtle differences between the two. Now, thankfully for you, I've trawled through hundreds of pages of arguments about the subject on the internet and have distilled everything down into three very simple points. Main difference, number one. People like to be known as geeks, but not many people like to think of themselves as nerds. So it turns out that just over 41% of people are happy with being called a geek, which is almost double the number of people who aren't offended by being labelled as a nerd. And in fact, almost 66% of the under 30s think being called a geek is actually a compliment, with geeks being seen as smarter, more knowledgeable and at the cutting edge of their subject. Now all of this geek positivity has led to the rise of the pseudo geeks, a group whose mode of dress differs only from Red Dwarf's Dwayne Dibley in their unrelenting commitment to colour coordination. Nerds on the other hand are different, you can't fake being a nerd. You can't become an authentic nerd just by imitation. To be a nerd you require an IQ that's bigger than your body weight, a single-minded passion and commitment to your subject, and a rejection of society's beliefs that it's important to get along with your peers. Now, being a nerd requires commitment. While a geek might queue for four hours for a Harry Potter premiere, a nerd will camp overnight dressed as a wizard. Main difference number two. Geeks stand out from the crowd, but nerds are hopelessly conventional. Now, in order to properly understand the differences between geeks and nerds, it's important to dig deep into the roots of geekdom and try and explore some of the history of these words. So the word nerd supposedly was originally spelt with a K and spelled out the word drunk backwards. And it was used by students at MIT to single out their sober classmates, the opposite of being drunk, the straightest squares. Now, other people claim that the word nerd comes from an acronym of Northern Electric Research and Development and the people that work there. But regardless of the original usage of the word, nerd has always been used to describe the dull and boring, the hopelessly conventional squares. Now, the word geek, on the other hand, has always been used to describe the bizarre and outlandish and was originally used to describe freak show acts in 19th century circuses. Now, my badass calculus skills are pretty freaky. Um, but I'm not sure people would quite pay money to see them. And as good as Justin Timberlake looks in his short sleeve shirt and braces, I think we have to accept that the word has changed in definition slightly over time. But it's these roots that are important and show us the modern day difference. Geeks want to stand out, whereas nerds don't really want anything other than a Klingon dictionary and 16 gigabytes of RAM. Main difference number three, geeks are fans of their subjects, but nerds are practitioners. Now this is a number hub after all, so let's settle this final debate with a totally delicious piece of mathematics by nerd champion Burr Settles. Now Burr had the idea that you can tell a lot about the differences between the two words by looking at what other words are used in a sentence with either of them. So what he did was to set up a computer program which looked at 2.6 million tweets and came up with a very clever bit of statistics to give a measure of how well the word geek or nerd fit with other words. And he plotted them on a graph that looks like this. So nerdy along this axis and geeky up along here. Now, so the idea is that down here you have the much more nerdy words like history, mathematics, neuroscience. Up here you have the geekier words like Apple, Linux and box set. Along the middle, you have words that are both geeky and nerdy, like Star Wars, glasses and computer. And down here, you have words which are neither geeky nor trendy, like vegetables, chores and boobies. Now, what's nice is that a very clear pattern starts to emerge from this graph. So collectible and cultish type things like Apple, Linux and box sets are much more geeky than nerdy, but technical words like data and analytics are far more nerdy. Cool words like shiny and trendy are geeky, but words like education, intellectual and smarty pants are definitely nerdy. 
So their theory goes then that geeks are fans of their subjects. They're interested in collecting trivia and memorabilia and like to be at the very cutting edge of the thing that they're passionate about. Nerds, on the other hand, are much more achievement oriented. They don't care so much about trivia and memorabilia, but care much more about living and breathing and understanding their subject. So by this logic then, Simon Cowell is a nerd in creating commercial successes out of mediocre singers. Uh, Harry Styles then is a, a tattoo geek and I am certifiably nerdy as verified by science. So there you have it, the top three differences between geeks and nerds. Now, don't get me started on dweebs and dorks. Geeks and nerds unite by subscribing to Head Squeeze. But I had a bit of a shock the other day when I started looking at my social network in a little bit more detail because it turns out that the people who I follow are actually far more popular than I am.